In this video, we're going to discuss how to perform text summarization using transformer models. I've already wrote a full article on this, which you can view on my website. I've included a link to it down below. So let's get right to it. First off, for faster inference times, you may want to use a GPU. So select runtime, change runtime type, and then select GPU. If you're using a free instance, you will not see this option right here and click save. In this video, we're going to use a Python package I'm the lead maintainer of called Happy Transformer. It is available on PyPy, so we can pip install it like so. You'll be using the most downloaded text summarization model available on Hugging Faces model distribution network. I've included a link to it down below. Summarization is a text-to-text -text task, meaning given a text input, the model must output an original standalone piece of text. Another example of a text-to-text -text task is translation. So given one language, the model must output a completely other language. And both pieces of text, both the input and output, are independent from one another. So with that said, we'll copy this model right here. And we will import from Happy Transformer a class called Happy Text-to-Text, -text, like so. From happy transformer, import happy text to text. Now we will create an object called happy tt for happy text to text. And we will paste this right here. And this class requires two positional arguments. The first is model type. And in this case, see how the model type is distill part. So we will type in distill BART in all caps. And the second positional input is model name. Remember how I copied the model name right here. We'll head back and paste that in. And now we can hit run. We need some text to summarize. So I copied over the first two paragraphs from the Wikipedia page for transformer models just to stay on topic. Let's hit run. From here, we only need to call one line of code to begin summarizing text. We'll copy over our happy TC object and call the method generate text, and we will provide the text variable. We'll save the result into a variable called result and hit run. Now let's print the result. And the output is a data class object with a single variable called text. So we can isolate the text variable. And the output is a transformer is a deep learning model that adopts the mechanism of attention. It is used primarily in the field of natural language processing, NLP, and computer vision, CV. That sounds pretty good to me. By default, a text generation algorithm called Greedy is used. This algorithm simply selects the next most likely token. We can head over to this URL. I've also included a link to it down below. And this URL contains instructions on how to modify the text generation algorithm. If you'd like to learn more about some of these different text generation algorithms, like Greedy, Generic Sampling, and Top K Sampling, then I suggest you check out my latest course. This course covers how to implement and train GPT-Neo, which is an open source version of GPT-3, a state-of-the-art text generation AI model. It also covers how to create a web app to display the model. So like I said, if you want to learn more about the theory behind some of these algorithms, then check out my latest course. But let's get right back to it. So for this example, we will be using top case sampling. We can just copy this line of code right here, head back over to the collab, paste it, fix the spacing, increase the max length. We'll set it equal to maybe 50. And then we can hit run. Like before, we can call generate text from the happy TC object. We'll paste this line of code here as it will be very similar. We'll use the same text. And then for the args parameter, we can provide the settings we instantiated right here. Hit run and it ran quickly. We'll print the result dot text. And there we go. I just want to finish off by discussing a very interesting model called T5. 
So if we head over to the webpage for T5 on Hugging Faces Model Distribution Network, uh, we can learn more about the model. And this model is a text-to-text -text model that can do several different tasks within a single model. So for example, if you provide the model with the text translate English to German and then something in English, it will output a German translation. Likewise, if you provide it with summarize and then um, just English text, it will output a summary to the text. So like I said, it's a text-to-text -text model that can accomplish several different tasks, and let's get right to using it. So we'll head back over to the Colab, and we will copy over the code we use to instantiate a model right here. We'll scroll down, and we'll paste it in. We'll call it Happy T5. For the model type, it's capital T5. And if we head back over here for the model name, we can copy it. So T5-base. We'll paste it into the second positional parameter and hit run. We want to let the model know what kind of task we want to perform. So we'll create a new variable called input. And we will add the text summarize to the start of the input we will provide to the model. And we will add our current text input to it and hit run. From here, we can summarize the text using happy T5, and we'll call generate text. We'll provide the input and save the result in a variable called result. Hit run. Now let's print the result. And it is. So transformers are deep learning models that adopt the mechanism of attention. They are designed to handle sequential input data for tasks such as translation. Unlike recurrent neural networks, transformers do not necessarily process the data in order. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned a lot. Be sure to check out my latest course and stay happy, everyone.